I arrived in Washington to give a paper, for which I had only moderate affection, at a conference, a meeting of the Novo Roman Society. I decided to attend out of no great affinity for the organization or its members or its mission, but because my mother and sister still lived in D.C., and it had been three years since my last visit. My mother had wanted to meet me at the airport, but I refused to give her my flight information. For that matter, I also did not tell her at which hotel I'd be staying. My sister did not offer to pick me up. Lisa probably didn't hate me, her younger brother, but it became fairly clear rather early in our lives, and still, that she had little use for me. I was too flighty for her, lived in a swirl of abstracts, removed from the real world. While she had struggled through medical school, I had somehow, apparently, breezed through college without cracking a book, a falsehood, but a belief to which she held fast. While she was risking her life daily by crossing picket lines to offer poor women health care, which included abortions if they wanted, I was fishing, sawing wood, or writing dense, obscure novels, or teaching a bunch of green California intellects about Russian formalism. But if she was cool to me, she was frozen to my brother, the high-rolling plastic surgeon in Scottsdale, Arizona. Bill had a wife and two kids, but we all knew he was gay. Lisa didn't dislike Bill because of his sexuality, but because he practiced medicine for no reason other than the accumulation of great wealth. 